Real quick, just want to say this video is not intended for kids. The Sims 4 is rated T14 and it uses graphic mods. Anyway, she's pregnant. She didn't seem too happy about it. Unwanted pregnancy? I'm sorry. You have a problem with being pregnant? Hello, Rose8767 here, bringing you the actual final part of, of the chapter of, um, of the Snow White cha chapter part of the Disney Princess Legacy. So, Pro6, Pro, what is your, even your name? I don't know. I don't care anymore. We're almost done with this generation. Prosis. Prosis is, is proposing to his future bride... Cecilia is about to be his bride forever and ever. And they're just gonna quickly and they're just gonna go quickly elope right down right down the area. Right down the area? Right down right down the block or whatever at the wedding arch in this in this world. It's actually generally cold, so I hope they don't Oh, she's pregnant. Um, she pregnant, eh? Did we woohoo with her? I don't remember doing so. Okay, we did woohoo with her. This must have been more stuff that I actually lost fo the footage of because I somehow lost part of this. This oh nope nope nope. You're not freezing to death. Not on my watch. Absolutely not. It's it's apparently too cold to get married there. So so we're not dealing with that right now. It's also too cold for these people to be wearing what they're wearing. But you know they're doing it anyway. So hopefully they don't freeze to death. All right. Um. I mean, those computers really shouldn't be there. This isn't really time appropriate, but whatever. I'll fix it later. It's not like it's important. It's, it's, it'll only be important for Cinderella's generation anyway. Which is literally next, so I'll, I'll fix it when we get to Cinderella's generation. Because I need to make this... I need, first of all, a place to have the royal ball. Um, I need to... I need a prince, and I'm going to need a lot of things, but those technically don't come at the beginning of the series, so, that chapter, so, it's something we'll worry about later. Um, well, but we definitely need a hall to have the ball. <laughs> Alright, um, okay, so, we're going to just, we're just going to elope immediately. I don't care. It's happening. Now, hopefully nobody over there dies, but I, I can't be held responsible for if they do. So, there, there was their choice to wear what they wanted to wear. They are so cute. I love them so much, too. It's like, it's it's funny that she's non-committal, though. It actually is. But with the time period, it, I'm sorry, the time period we're going for, that, that doesn't matter. Not, not to be um, a downer to anybody's, like, Thing of like women independence but like because uh, women when obviously women are very independent they do not need a man in their life to do anything and fuck the whole R roe versus wade thing being overturned because women should not have to listen have to do what men want and i'm speaking as a guy so just so you know i don't think there's a any difference between men and women and women should not need a man to do what they need to, to do what they're to have a, to have a proper life you don't even need to have you do not even need to have um, children, or to uh, or a man in your life to have children, to be have a successful like life as a woman. It's ridiculous that th this is a thing. Um, Queen, please don't die. You're kind of important. Um, but what I was gonna say though is that um, is that uh, this time period though, because we're going with the 1850s, no 1890s. I think we're in the 1890s. In the 1890s, it was very normal for um, a man and a woman to get together and um, mar and marry, and even if the woman didn't want to marry said person, because women were treated a little more like an extension of man back then. So while I don't agree with such things, for the accuracy of this let's play, I'd have to do it. <laughs> So even though she's non-committal, she really don't have a choice in the matter. All right, we're done here. She's married. <laughs> we'll never see this family. Well, we'll not never see this family again. 
more than likely we will encounter them in the world. We need to go over to Magnolia Promenade as the final, the final, the final thing because Snow White, Liliana needs to marry her Prince Charming. We're going to play as Prince Charming because he's going to be the one to propose. It's not a very big kingdom. It's a very new, small kingdom, but they have a, they have a large, they have a kingdom nonetheless. Again, it's not a very big kingdom. It's a small up and coming kingdom, but a kingdom nonetheless. And they definitely have to have their own personal heir because Snow White's, Lil, I'm sorry, Liliana's other children are not, although of royal blood, are also part commoner. And are not the and are not the heir to this particular th family throne because of the fact that she did not marry a prince. I mean, she did not have them with her prince charming. So she has to have a whole eighth dwarf because of the fact that uh, the ruler of this country would not recognize. Okay, yeah, you can't be freezing to death on us, love. So um, absolutely not. Why don't you like go inside before you freeze to death? Because you are the queen and you are very important. You can die later for all I care. Right now, but right now, I'd like you to like not die, please. All right. Well, I don't know if we have anywhere special that uh, this this castle is beautiful, by the way, very gorgeous. I love the whole rainbow aesthetic. I downloaded this from the gallery, just FYI, in case you all were wondering. Um, I think we should do it right here. This is the most open space in the entire house, so. Alright, you go here. Yeah, you guys do your thing. Just get out of our way. Alright, you go here. You know what I'm missing right now? I don't have Wonderful Whims installed. Because I don't do it in this particular Let's Play. Because I don't want um, attraction things to prevent... Excuse me. Hi, Queen. Um, yeah, you go up there. Get out of the way. Snow White, where are you going? I mean, Liliana. Liliana your butt over here oh wait she already engaged that's right we got engaged in the last part so they're already engaged i was about to get them engaged but they're already engaged so we're just gonna quickly plan a wedding their royal family isn't really japanese but i feel like now they i chose kaiserin for them because that's a very german thing because of the fact that snow white is a german story but um i feel like their kingdom is small and they take a lot of customs from different countries. I feel like they, while they aren't Japanese based, they are, they take some customs from them. So they're, as well as some customs from Germany, like being a Kaiserin. So um, we downloaded a Japanese style wedding venue because they need, they, they're one of the things that I feel like this family does is they hold a tea ceremony. I was pretty sure this lot would, yep, have a tea area that we can work with. I had a feeling. So before we initially get married, we need to have our little tea ceremony, is what I feel. We have, the bride-to-be ha has to serve the tea. And I feel like this family, they really like, um, Earl, they, again, they're not entirely Japanese-based. That's why I chose this venue, because it doesn't have the Japanese tea sets. I, it has the more English-based tea sets. Why can you not serve that tea, girl? Girl, can you not get to the tea sets? Go here. Go. Everybody go here together. Okay, why can't we go here? There's a celebrity walking by in a non-time period appropriate thing. I don't care to fix the townies. I'll do that later. If not at all. All right, all right. We don't wear shoes in here, apparently. Don't know where that sign is. I'll figure it out later. Don't feel like dealing with it. All right, um, you should definitely be in your formal wear, though, my love. We do have a wedding dress we planned for her, so you know what? She's going to wear it. Again, while we do borrow the tea ceremony thing, this isn't a very Japanese wedding, so she's, they can wear whatever the heck they want. It's not a big deal. But we do have a very traditional for them style, for their kingdom style out, com, outfit. Now, my dear lovely, my dear lovely, you need to stoop, not that one. 
the Ear you need to steep the Earl Grey tea. The queen, the king and queen should probably get into their proper clothes. Just saying. Anyway, um, she's steeping the tea, the Earl Grey for the for the um lovely king and queen. All right. Now you're gonna go ahead and pour the tea. And then you need to serve both to the king and and people are taking their shoes off. I need to figure out where this shoe thing is because that's not your that's not I'm sorry, but that's that's not us. Apparently you can't to the queen, so but that makes sense. She's she's the mother, he's the father. That does make sense though. He she he's that's mom. He's dad. You're not wearing an appropriate outfit for this wedding. Though to be fair, I think your other dress is numb. Story-wise, that doesn't come into play yet, so. Love, you're in the way. Everybody's in the way. All right, let's do it from this angle. All right. I'm just gonna put that on you for a second so I can't see this. She's kneeling before the queen, the king, and serving him his tea. Technically, the Kayser, I can still see her thing. It's whatever. All right, we've had a little tea ceremony. Everybody now, everybody else has got to grab tea because um, we've served it to the king as is tradition for this for this um, this uh, this this monarchy. We've uh, had our tea ceremony. Now we're gonna go over here and we're going to get married to Prince Isaac Seymour. Now she she technically is nobility. She just doesn't think she is. Right now, she doesn't realize she is no, but she is technically, um, oh, she's royalty. She just doesn't, she just doesn't recognize it for her right now because she was in hiding from her royalty, but she's about to become royalty again. So, like, he, he's the crown royal and the heir. Excuse me, where are you going? She's hating on the furniture. Bitch, get married. I'm going to hide headline effects this time because I, I don't want, I don't want to deal with it. Hide. I think it's actually in this game. It's head line effects off. I don't know why they changed it from the old games to that, but yep. Yeah. Okay, so headline effects are off. Um, everybody needs to come attend the wedding. Hi, everybody needs to come attend the wedding. Can I ask people to take their seats? No, because it's a family gathering. Because why would that? Why would that work? Okay, people are seated. She's having her tea still. And that's fine. She can have her tea. Alright, they're getting married. It's so beautiful. Hopefully nobody fucks, fucks this up because uh, my wedding story is as interesting like that. We could have walked the aisle, but it, I'm not really concerned about it. Oh, apparently she's giving him the ring very confidently, apparently. Oh, apparently he, she's the only one giving him the ring. Probably because we didn't get married with uh, the my, my Wedding Story's wedding. Alright, well now that we've had the wedding... Now the thing is, in their, their culture, the bride does everything. So the bride has for all the wedding, all this, you know, menial stuff. So now she's going to serve an assortment of food, and now we're going to come grab the feast. So we're going to grab, um, first the feast. So we'll grab this together. First we have the feast, and then we have, oh, I guess that counts as a dessert. Uh, interesting. All right, well, we, we're having the f dessert first, I guess. So we'll pretend it's like a dessert, appetizer dessert. What even was that? I don't know. My headline effects are off. <laughs> so what was that? Vegetable temper. That is not a dessert game. I'm sorry to bring it, bring it to you, but vegetable to tempura is not a dessert. Anyway, when they're done with that, we'll then have the actual celebration feast, because apparently that's a dessert. So we'll grab some of this after. And then we'll have a toast to the new happy couple after, the, after everybody eats. Alright, I added a little toasting area with this empty room. Excuse me, sorry, apparently I have the hiccups now. Um... I'll be getting something to drink in a second. But I added an empty room. I mean, I, I made the empty room a little toasting area. So after they're done eating their lovely, lovely feast and their dessert, we'll go toast to the marriage. All right, everybody come here. All right, so, excuse me, hi. Where did everybody go? Oh, the event ended. That's why. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate that everybody else missed the toast. 
but we'll at least get a photo of that. It's a shame everybody else missed the toast, but whatever. All right, well, um, before we leave, unfor unfortunately, we do have to consummate the marriage. So, um, the king and queen do, and the king, thing is the queen and king and queen do have to see this, because they have to know that the bride is expecting. And as in olden times, that is how, kind of, what it worked, is you got, you, you woohooed on your wedding day, and everybody watched to make sure that the bride was a virgin. <laughs> so, um... That is what they're doing. They're going to woohoo, and the king and queen are going to see it, and they're going to make sure that the bride is a virgin. We're going to li ruin our lovely white wedding dress. That is actually why, by the way, the wedding dress was originally white. <laughs> um, because on your wedding day, when you did the, der did the, du did the deed, um, when the blood from the not being a virgin hit the sheets... And also, people could see it on the wedding dress, so that they'd know the bride was a virgin. This is assuming, this is assuming, um, they didn't take their clothes off, though. I'm pretty sure, considering people were watching, that they weren't taking their clothes off, though. Hence the original wet, white wedding dress. It was the sign of being a virgin on your wedding day. We still do this trend, mind you, but, um... I don't think many people are virgins on their wedding days anymore, considering, um, and I, I think the king and queen, queen and king and queen are aware that, um, Liliana is not a virgin on her wedding day. They just have traditions. But they are very aware that she has seven other children and she is not a virgin on her wedding day. All right. Well, that went smoothly. I believe the only toilet, though, is this thing, which we can't actually try for a a pregnancy test in, which is rather unfortunate. We're gonna have Liana go go take a pregnancy test in the red room of this castle because that seems like it would be good luck as her as she had the delicious red apple originally in the story that put her into the sleep. I did originally have a mod I was going to use for such things um, because it has a poison apple. Unfortunately, that was no longer, that was broken at the time I originally recorded that episode. So I had to make do with what I had. But originally I wanted to use the Life Tragedies mod and the poison apple to, um, to basically get um, the desired effect of Snow White eating the poisoned apple. It is, but that mod is also still technically broke, not, not only when I recorded it at the time, but it's still quit now, so. Anyway, she's pregnant. She didn't seem too happy about it. Unwanted pregnancy! I'm sorry. You have a problem with being pregnant? You've literally had seven other children. I do not think you have a problem with being pregnant. Pregnant. Make ready to accept pregnancy, because you know what? You, you literally, you literally had seven children. I don't think you care about it at this point. Okay, um, make peace with pregnancy. Because you've had seven children, I really don't think you care that you're pregnant. Wait, is she sweating? She's a little glossy, is she sweating? Alright, well she's made peace with her pregnancy, you're gonna go ahead and, um... Now, unlike the others, because I really don't care, um, we're gonna stick around for her pregnancy. Because this is the final episode. For, for a Snow White, and I want to see what the, um, the future heir, the future heir to this throne will be named. Alright, it's time. The, the baby is coming. M Miss Liliana is having her net, her last and final child. We don't have a bassinet, and I don't, I guess doctors existed, but we can't really have a home. A home birth with a doctor which was more common back then so we're gonna buy a bassinet and I think we're gonna put it in this lovely orange room over here cuz I've kind of decided who everybody's rooms are and I think the orange room would make the most sense um, for a record though we have servants by the way so that's who's in this bed right now the servant the gardener's just sleeping in our bed basically so um, but yeah, we're gonna put a bassinet in this orange room. Go have the baby. Alright, Princess Princess Liliana Hoffman, go have your baby. Which your title is gone again, so that's great. Alright. 
She's having the baby. Alright, it is a boy. So we're going to name him Prince Alexio. Prince Alexio. I like that. Prince Alexio. And the baby is born. It is the the last child for this for this generation. She's not supposed to have an eighth baby technically, but uh, he needs an heir. Okay, he needs an heir to his throne because she didn't marry her original her original baby daddy. I like that. He's an accepted child. She's happy to have him, and that is probably the only child they're going to have personally. Um. The royal nanny went home, though, so we're going to just have her give him super efficient baby care because she, she's been raising children for a long time. She knows how to take care of babies. She raised seven children to maturity. She knows how to take care of babies. The king and queen have their, have their now, ha, now have their heir. Yeah, I know. Rebate day was awful. All right. Well, the king and queen have their heir. Seymour has his heir when he, um, sorry, Isaac Seymour has his heir when he, when um he when when his time comes as king, the titles have gone away. Though I'm noticing, I don't understand this bug with the with the um, royalty mod. The titles don't really stick around. This is why I usually add king and stuff in front of their name. The thing is, her name is particularly long, so I don't know if I'll be able to to add her name name in there. We'll see. If we can rename Sim. We can change her name to Lily though if we need to because her mother is also Liliana. So. Princess, yeah, okay. Let's just make her. Let's just shorten it to Lily because that's what it, her name actually was in the movie. Princessa Lily. Oh, okay. We're only doing one L. Princessa Lily. Princessa Lily Hoff Seymour. Oh, her name's not Hoffman anymore. That's fine. Princessa Lily Seymour, and that's fine. Her name was her mother's name is Liliana, and her, she they just called her Lily in the. Snow White and Taylor Terror movie that I based her name off of, so, you know what? That's fine. She can just be Lily now. She does I think her new life, she, she can have a new name of being Lily. Speaking of which, um, okay, so the thing is with Praxophia, her name is ridiculously long. I don't know if we'll be able to name her, um, the proper name, um, but we'll give it a shot. All right, so commands, maintain sim, rename sim. I don't know if we'll be able to fit queen in there, but we'll give it our best shot. If I can get this thing to line up. Oops. Ugh. It's one space off. It's one space off. What do I do? Is there another title that's shorter than queen? Let me Google this real quick. Royal titles. Female royal title titles around the world, yeah. Because I don't, I don't, I want more than just one. No, I, I want um female monarch titles is what I want. Female monarch titles around the world. Let's see what we got here. Nobility. Okay, but I want. Specifically, yeah, that's nobility. What I specifically want. Let's try this. Title Max. Let me see. Pharaoh, Sultan, Sultana. I think Sultana's longer though than um. Mansa, M Mansa, that's a new one. The Moldy Empire. Caesar is longer than Queen. Tsar and Tsarina. Maharaja Madarani, King and Queen. Tenno. Oba. Sapa Inca. Kaiser. Kagan. Okay, where's one that's, um, Roy and Royine, France. I think that's the same, I think that's the amount, of, the, the same amount as the qu a Queen, though. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. This one, Croy, which is Poland. Poland is pretty close to Denmark, which is close to, I believe, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm not going to Google it either. 
But um, Poland, Polish. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of po Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese is closer to. No, it's Portuguese. Supposed to be stick. Denmark is close. Okay, Denmark's language is close to German. It's Portuguese is close to Spanish. Okay. I know Germany invaded Poland, so let's just go with this one. Because why not? Well, I'm just going to go with this one, which is Croy. So we're going to name her Croy Praxophia. Which I'll know means she's royalty. Hopefully later. And um, when, sh when she becomes queen... Um, she's going to keep that title because it's literally the only thing that fits in her name. And then her husband, Mateo, shall be king. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. I love you all, my beautiful lovelies. I will see you all in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I shall see you soon. Bye! I want to thank you all for watching once again. I know I don't post as much as I used to. The videos are unfortunately going to be a little bit sporadic and uploads because of the fact that I do work a day job as a bridal consultant. But thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will try to post as, as often as I can.